I'm sure everyone would be very, very happy. Like, okay, if you just said, if you could just find an answer to why the earth should be using the last of this, then we don't have to have this lecture. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the first place, um, is the world round or flat? That's a question. How do you know if it's flat? How do you know it's round? Okay. I've said it before in this class that there was a time where you couldn't say the world is round. It was like almost like, are you okay? Do you remember? <clears throat> but what do you think? Is it round or flat? And why do you think so? I mean, let's look at where we are now. It's a, one of the highest places in Africa. Are you okay? Um, is there any indication that the world is round? So this question is going to the class. I want a response. Is there any indication that the world is wrong to you? Per the view, I was standing here just five minutes ago and I was looking up. The view is just fantastic. Is that okay? Yes. The last time someone talked about the view was a very um, action movie. Is that okay? Then someone was asking someone, is the view not very fantastic? But the guy was a killer, so he was just about to kill him. Actually, ask, ask that question. The next moment, Willis will find him. Uh, so the view may be just beautiful, but we look at it from an engineering point of view. It's all good. That is this thing that we are working on and standing on, is it round or flat? Now, if it's flat, <clears throat> no problem, because all the representations I will make are on flat surfaces. The autocad is not round. Is the autocad round? Have you seen an engineer holding a round earth with this design on it before? It's always on something flat. Okay. Now, so that's the challenge. Something that's round, if you present it as flat, then you are actually telling a lie. Let me put it that way. Now I'm sounding like a social scientist. Right? But it's not like you're telling a lie. You, in engineering and in science, we call that an error or a distortion. Am I talking to you? We are having a chat. So, so to avoid that error, what do we have to do? We need to first understand the representation. Now, when you represent any part of the air on a piece of paper or on a computer, what you've done is that, literally, if I'm looking at this whole structure like this right now, and you know it's possible, isn't it? What I've done is that I've reduced the distances, all right? Okay, now when you reduce the distance, distances like that, then mathematically, what you've done is that you've actually applied a scale, okay? <clears throat> and the popular name for such a representation is a map. So you can have a hard copy map, I have a digital copy, a, a digital map. I, I just finished eating, so I, I think I'm fine. This one is not hunger, it's all right. <laughs> so we need to appreciate the map as a representation of our geography or geographical reality. You understand what I said? What's your understanding of what I said? Because all this while we say that GIS models the world, the real world of this, isn't it? And there are two ways to model the world. You are using the raster model or the sector model. Are you okay? Now we're talking about all this without really touching on the map. But really the map becomes the final thing at a certain time, point in time. Whatever we're looking at, if you print it out, that's a hard copy mark. If you don't, we have a digital mark. Are you with me? So there is a certain missing link in there. Are you okay? All right. So we have the model, but where do we place the map? Okay. All right. And what are the issues? That's the essence of map projection. Why projection? Because we need to get. Uh, certain mathematical representation. As we have to assume that there's light moving from the center of the head and pushing all the things that are on the surface of the head onto a surface, which is flat. That's a concept. That's the idea. If you have something round, 
and you want to actually turn on something flat, then you might as well just put some sort of light source in the center of it, and then push all these things onto something flat. That is that is why we call it projection, but you see, it's a concept. Okay, you don't really take a light source and go into the earth center. Are you okay? And where is that? I hope you are aware that there's hot um, molten magma in the center of the earth. Are you aware? The earth crust is very, it's metals that are melt, melt, no, melt, melt, very soft in the center and hot, extremely. You can't be there. So one day people are mining gold and it will end up in the center of the earth. I hope they go and get it. They are destroying the earth, isn't it? Huh? You will take a go, 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 go away. You are, you are, they won't even go far. Am, I am praying, I am praying they just go and they just drop into it. <laughs> All right. So it's a mathematical concept. Are you okay? All right. Now let's talk about the basic, the basic of the math, the basic, the basics. For me, did I bring this? Yes, did. And I stole it. So we talk about map. We have last map. We have small scale map. Are you okay? The scale itself of the map is actually what the distance on the map. The paper, the medium on which you are represented over the distance on the ground. Okay, so a ratio, I bet you can see, see a light. <laughs> so distance on the map, okay, can be the computer screen or it can be the paper. It is paper. That's what's popular. Distance on that, that the distance is on, then we get a scale. It's a ratio, right? So we can have large scale, small scale. When we say small scale, that means this ratio is small. So large scale, this ratio is like that. So there's the radius of one. So, yeah. Yes, we have medium scale. So, but I'm not going to bother you with the numbers, right? I just I want to show that if the scale gets larger, then it means this division is yielding a larger value. Okay? So if more is less, so if less, more. So once you have it, larger distances, I'm reaching, if you have a larger distance from the ground, Naturally, you're having what smaller scale. If you're having larger distances on the ground, then we're having what? So, like, if you present the whole Africa on the map, you can imagine the distances. Like, are you okay? Kilometers. Are you okay? Thousands of kilometers. But the radius of the Earth is of size. It's around 6,000. I'm not sure. So it's the thousands, okay? So small scale, you see, you touch on large areas on the ground, okay? When you do engineering, most of the time you are dealing with what? Large scale. Large scale. So it means that you are actually not dealing with larger distances, all right? So that is this scale. When it comes to scale, we have a graphic representation of the scale. So scale bar, or graphic scale. We can have exact representative function. This example of this one is something like that. One kilometer, two kilometers, actually, you can see it. So you can now take your divider and then. So if there is a 
there is a root of this line, and we can simply say this word kilometer, so this is also one kilometer in it. That's how the graphics skills is used. You see it in movies. Are you okay? When they are planning for war, okay, and then the commanders are there, and then they have the map or the table, okay, and then they are saying oh, we need to attack them for this end, okay. Can you see that here? Check the distance. The most of the time is the representative function skill example is y is five half. So yeah, most of the time, this is the one that geography says civilians are using, but they take fraction scale. So, all right. so, this is popular, but this is also used, okay? We also have verbal skill. I think verbal skill is the one that you use for someone who is not really a scientist. Like, you want to just tell them. Yeah. Every one inch represents the one mile. This is the period. Are you okay? This one metric. One centimeter represents one kilometer. This is metric representation. Okay. Right. So geographic information. How do you capture it to a computer? You need to achieve some resources. Are you okay? A question I asked in exam once for this course is that you have a monument that is embedded in the ground but you can only see a part of it okay you have an old map on which you can find the monuments exactly how do you determine the scale of that map so you have a monument that is embedded you see i didn't respond because you distract no no it's fine i think i want you to be aware maybe Ignoring. So you have a certain monument which is embedded in the ground. Are you okay? But then you need to do some work as some engineer, all right? So you have you happen to find an old map, okay, without any skill, but you can see that that object is there. How do you find the skill? So you can see this object on the map, but now because of time, time has passed. Now you, you can't see that anymore, it's buried, but you can see portions of it. How do you determine the scale of the map? This is like some kind of teacher's question. It's not like, it doesn't happen every day, are you okay? You just don't, you're doing a project and you find out that, you know, some kind of structure has been they you just discover it that it's part of the area so probably has to be excavated are you ready right so you need to do measurements getting that to know the scale of the map helps to know the extent of it the size of it are you okay the dimension of it and to do calculations all right as an engineer and so how do you measure from
Just do it, it's out. No one says you should come in. It's out. All right, let's continue, guys. Are you on? Okay, let's continue. Let's go. Where are we? Where are we? Eh, but you are not minding why. I think you don't understand this. Or you run away from it somewhere and now it's chasing you. Yeah. Yes, we found it. And we can see the monument now, it's been there proper. Are you okay? Whatever structure it is, we don't even know what it is. Are you okay? How would, how would you go about telling this? Kid? So that we can know it's distant. Exactly. So we look at the distance of the map. Go on the map, measure the similar distance. You get closer to you have an idea how big it is. All right. That's basically it. All right, so let me let me just do a few illustrations for you. And uh, let's talk about longitude and latitude. We need it. Longitude is represented by lambda. Okay, and P is the latitude. What are these? These are on the globe, I agree. Which is the best representation of the earth? The, earth, the flat paper is the worst representation of the earth. But the earth isn't flat, this is what? Okay, so we need to appreciate the ideal there was something close to the idea. I agree. Okay? Right, so we have a greater here. North Pole is here, South Pole is here. All right? Then we have to talk about the latitude. These are latitudes. That's it. So no, it's, it's, it's actually sustained a number of feet. That's why it's called latitude. So this latitude is north. For example, it's somewhere like 15 degrees. I don't know. Right? Someone is saying it's not in the mix. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I'm talking to you. I'm having a chat. So, so this is looks like we can just have more of them. Let's go up to get the things to get because it's a matter of things to do this. And then you guys, even after school, you are going to have a lot of things to do. And I think that it's so good. And what do you mean? Reference longitude is that these are great circles. Literally, they go from the north pole, go around, come back. Are you okay? So, where we are now, there's one way to go, but it's only imaginary and conceptual. Are you okay? We conceive that we can have that, okay? Right, that situation. So, zero degree being the reference, so zero degree being the equator, anything below the equator. From the south, are you okay? From the south, for example, like from the south, are you okay? Be an engineer, smile, see me smile. See me. Before the other smile, you just smile. So, this is the 
latitudes, longitudes are going this way. Okay. Why? Why is that? So that we can find if there's a treasure somewhere. We can just use two numbers to go and find it. That's why. Why? Because an instrument like a GPS can give you the longitude latitude. So literally, we can get to know where things are. That's it. That's what we're doing. Okay. So this is a coordinate system. But this is a spherical coordinate system. Love it. With reference to the equator, we have angle being suspended, is it? So when, and then we get the lines going east west. Is that okay? That's, that's West Africa. That's north, that's south. We're on the same page. So map projections for this system. That's what it is. Wait, now I have this reference on the two. Okay, I'm going to name for it. The last two is a parallel. Okay. I'm going to name for a last two is what? Parallel. I'm going to name for a last two is a meridian. Okay. Okay. Now, so what it means that the intersecting longitude and latitude helps us to locate uniquely a certain place. So I'm going to change the coordinates. It tells you that it's hidden something there. Go and find it. Are you okay? It's possible it's the sea. You know? It's possible. And in that case, you have to be a girl. It's not Because there's treasure, there's money there. Are you okay? If you go and there's nothing there, I wish you luck. Okay. But basically, when you watch Prison Break, they were looking for stuff like that. They thought it was money. But later they realized that it was actually some shit. Hmm? What was it? What was that thing that was? This guy is not watching it. Don't be watching the right movie, eh? What scientific movie? Okay. So this pair of numbers, longitude, but this is actually a last year. This is also a latitude. So this is a long set of information to begin with. Right? The longitude is always go east and west. So for this typically this can be based west or east. Which one is the right as east? Yeah. Okay, so it's any bit east. So in that case, we can replace this one. The longitude is like the X, and we need this. Okay? The longitude is like the X, I agree. And the longitude is like what's the Y. Think about it that way. Yes, you think it's so bad, it's not so Think about it like a thousand times, where I get So. Sorry, the question is that it's like what you said. So, yes. So, we can go to the Yes, so the long is a long issue. It's a Yes, it's confusing. I don't want to say It's actually the X. The long is always the line moving from the top to the ground. But it indicates how far you are east or west. That's the x value. So when you do a graph, you have x, y. How do you know? Keep your power right means at this point, x is equal to one in the ID. So this line here is actually telling you all the points here, x is equal to one. 
very simple. You have to sit down, look at the realize that all of the lines which are this indicates an X value are like this. They are not like this. Are X, you know, X is actually this direction. They are only like they are actually indicating an element. So basically, your longitudes are your x's, your latitudes are your y's. But then that y, this one, this latitude, they tell you how far you are north of it. They are values that tell you, tell you how far you are upwards. Are you okay? Is that not y? That's not y. It's y. Those only two y's, you got to zero, two, four, eight. This value, I'll tell you how you're doing now. Are you okay? So you have this, these are for graphic tools or grids. The grid is normally used for engineering when we don't have the ten lines, okay? And these are like graphic tools, okay? All right, this is the IM tool so over there, all right? But we don't want to hold this. Cut it down because this one we should, how we should present the end. America, somewhere in the IO, like that. But when you actually look at it, you can never work with something like this as an engineer. Are you, you have to work with something like that. Why this? You look at it, this is looking like an orange. They tell you about this pancake you are doing. So you have you are first you have been a problem, okay? Now the error in there, we can call it a distortion. So we can use the word error, let's say. I don't use the word of distortion. Why? Because we just don't want to say that it's a problem. This is how you want We want to say it's a problem, it's an error, really. But we are calling it because we want to live with it. We want to live with it. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, we have a problem, we say, oh, I'll live with it. I have, yeah. This wife of mine, she struggled, but I'll just take care of her. I don't want to be really clear about it. <laughs> you know. But basically, the distortion is not something you want. So what you want to do is that you want to minimize it. So minimize the distortion in the transformation from the sphere to the plane. Okay, so what's the transformation is from lambda and P to X, Y, you know? That's what's happening. So when you look at the PowerPoint, I wrote a function there. Uh, X is a function of lambda and lambda. So we can write an equation. That means the longitude, the latitude, and then the x value. So that any time we plug in these values, it's tell you that, okay, when you open up, this value. No. I don't know. Okay. I'll pass So, let's see. It's trouble, isn't it? <laughs> so, not choose, not choose, being changed, that's what. So, it's like striker coordinates being changed to partition coordinates. Okay. Maybe like Euclidean coordinates. So, here you can, you can remember your math teacher at level 100 or something talking about some of but he himself doesn't, he can't talk about this. So this is a, it's a joint. Anytime when you invest in your online any school, you'll be educated. There's always this disjoint. The courses are all together, trust me. All of them. The fourth is just one course. The sibling number, the whole of it is one. Here yeah, there's just a certain to next between what the master was teaching me in terms of the pull up one is and this and what we are doing here and it's this part of the all right, great. So that's it. That's the story. That we want to minimize the distortion moving from the sphere to the plane. 
from the apple to the pumpkin. Are we on the same page? How would you do a secret where you I think they come to So you want to do it? We should have a channel for me and then to all I guess no, 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 what I'm saying is that we ask them, don't go to the Yes, again, but I don't want to go to the same, but take it to the same If you were to that it's very out of Okay, let's not use an orange to work. Let's use. So I have to just tell you that. I told you that <laughs> you put, we did a light source, isn't it? So the whole projection concept of my projection, the word projection, think about a projector that you use in lecture. Oh, so the let try set it up and increase it. Press the button and the light moves onto the wall. Is that not so? All right. What is he actually doing? He's projecting whatever is in there. Are you okay? To the wall. Is that not so? What happens? It's enlarged and all that, isn't it? Some kind of that. Right. So you can take this to be like a glow, okay? You want to. If you had a light source and you put it in the center of the glow, a transparent glow, but which had the Longitude and latitude on it. You realize that these lines will now be forced, are you okay, onto a plane. They will be projected onto a plane. I see there is a light source. Right, now you end up having all the longitudes going like that. This is a north pole, everything is the north pole. Let's the south pole. Are you okay? All right. Now your meridians are now a little bit changes, but you still don't have a choice. So that distinction is the distortion. Okay. All right. What does it mean? If something is here that looks like this, but it appears here, it may look like that. Are you okay? You may not have the same dimension. Okay. Because it is actually what this so I intentionally mentioned America because America is not as big as you think it is. Because America is the one is at North America, remember that? North America is the real America. Don't go to the wrong America, it's okay. Don't go to South America, don't take the wrong flights, it's okay. And then go to South, South America and think that that's not the America that people talk about. But what's interesting about North America is that it's Okay? Africa literally is split by what? The equator. So the equator goes, it's just, that's a sea right there. The equator is just down there. When they just pick a boat, you can see. 